The employees of a Tilbury factory are also starting to wonder if they've lost their jobs for good. They've been locked out for a month now, and the company has taken a lot of the equipment out of the plant. Simon Crouch has been following this story. The 100 employees of Concord Metal Stampings were locked out a month ago, and last week they turned down what the company had termed its last yeah, offer. Now the company has removed three truckloads of equipment. A good percentage of the entire plant's capacity has disappeared, and workers on the picket lines don't know if their jobs went down the highway as well. I don't know, we are wondering. Nobody really knows uh, what's going on at this time. So we uh, got our Q1 ratings from Ford, got a lot of new contracts. So I think they're just uh, storing us in a warehouse somewhere. Stuff they're taking out. If the removal was a bluff on the company's part, it hasn't changed many union minds, at least not yet. The people we spoke with said they were anxious to get back to work, but the company would have to come up with more money. Concord has a sister operation in Otterville, but employees aren't sure the equipment went that far. Well, all we know is it went as far as Chatham. That's all we know. So they didn't take it too far, did they? Whether the company is bluffing or whether it has called the union's bluff remains to be seen. But with no talks planned, these workers will likely be on the picket lines for some time to come. In Tilbury, Simon Crouch, CKCO-TV News.